Hi Aries, I am here to do a timeless reading for you guys. Who or what is coming towards you? Aries, just know that this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but it will resonate with some. So please take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This is a timeless reading, so when you are drawn here, it's when you are meant to view it. All right, let's get to it. Universe guides, angels, and spirits. What's going on with Aries? Who or what is coming towards Aries at this present time? What does Aries need to know? All right, Aries. Adjustments are required. Okay. What else, please? For Aries. There we go. All right, Aries. Balance spiritually and practical practicality. So, spirituality and practicality. So there has to be a balance. It's, I feel like with a lot of you, it's been all or nothing. You guys have to change your, your mindset. You have to change your um, way of thinking, the way that you um, perhaps go after things because with you, it's either all or not, right? All or nothing, all in and it's, Focused with blinders on on that one thing without seeing anything outside of that picture. And that's what I'm feeling um, with these two cards coming up. That's the energy that I'm feeling. And you definitely have to adjust that. You definitely have to work on that. All right, let's see. What else can you tell Aries, please? What does Aries need to know? We have third party, we have deception, and we have fall. For some of you, a situation happened in, the, in or around the fall, um, possibly involved with a third party. I mean, it came out, so I'm going to say it, and I hate talking about third parties. I really don't enjoy it, but it is what it is, right? Things happen. I know it's very painful for some. Um, we have deception. Someone actually led you on, led you f believing that there was, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel and it pretty much, it pretty much knocked you down, right? I feel like you went all in on this situation. You went all in. You saw nothing else but that finish line with that person and um, spirit is saying, open your eyes, look at the bigger picture look, you know, from all angles, right? Tell me more about this person, please. Tell me more about this person, please, for Aries. Involved with Aries, thank you. Metamorphosis. So this is a time for change. This is a time to um, grow. This is a time to, I can't even think of the word, this is a time for you now to go into something new. The change, the, um, you know, like a revolution. Oh, here we go into something new, right? This has put you in a place where now um, you're definitely going through some type of transition. What else, please? <clears throat> what else please for Aries they don't even want to talk about this person apparently they're more focused on you Aries which is fine because 
You're more important. You are important. Thank you. Observer, this person watches you. You may still watch this person as well. What else? What else, please, spirit? Divine masculine. Yeah. And no gender in tarot. This this person was probably, you know, someone who is very good with their words. Someone who could definitely um, lead you to believe things. The control factor, right? This is the way it is. And I think that kind of like was what one of the things that you were drawn to that this person seemed to have his or her shit together and knew exactly what they wanted what they wanted to do blah 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 but little did you know that there was definitely a reason for that what else please with Aries and then we're going to go to what is coming towards you because Aries honestly I'm sure you don't want to hear about the past muse you looked up to this person you know this person you put this person on a pedestal and like i said everything you did you did for this person so let's clear this off let's see what's coming towards you or at least we can see how this person is feeling towards you now if you'd like Spirit, what can you tell Aries? Who's coming towards Aries, if anyone at all? What does Aries need to know, please? Who's coming towards Aries? And what can you tell Aries? What does Aries need to know? All right, Aries, let's see. Well, that one right away flipped out. Five of Wands. Conflict, competition, drama. I feel like you might be going through that right now, actually. Another card for Aries, please. There we go. The Nine of Wands. Being guarded, right? A little tired, a little worn out. But the sun, the sun follows. All right, let's get an advice card. Advice, please, from the spirit, please. Advice for Aries. Thank you. King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. <clears throat> Stand your ground. You know, keep keep stable. Stand your ground. Watch your money. All of that is good. It'll be a time for celebration for sure. Um, but we're going to go. And we're going to take a step back and we're going to look at the current five of wands so there's there was drama there was fighting arguing perhaps um, meddling other people involved not good right let's get a clarifier for that why the five of wands for aries why the five of wands please Regarding a commitment, this person could not commit, guys. Aries, this person could not commit because this person was committed elsewhere. And this person knew that. And that constantly would would bring in that fight, right? It would just, you know, enough is enough. I see a lot of tears. I see a lot of heartbreak. I see a lot of... Um, overthinking things why the nine of wands so now we're in in a fairly current situation where you're guarded now you're guarded you're wounded you're tired right this situation has left you you know 
quite hurt but you're not down for the count the nine of wands is never down for the count never okay we have the knight of cups you're wanting an apology from this person let's see if we're going to get one Spirit, will Aries get an apology, please, from this person? Will Aries get an apology, please, from this person? Justice in the reverse, guys. I don't think this person is going to give you an apology. I don't think this person... No, this person isn't going to give you an apology um, they may think about it they may think about you they may feel stuck in a situation but they're not going to give you an apology you won't get the justice that you're looking for with this person um, let's move forward to the near future we do have the sun so you know the sun could represent seeing things super clearly right but the sun also means total happiness total happiness Please clarify the sun. Please clarify the sun. Another card, please. For the sun, for Aries, please. Thank you. Woo! All right. Aries, you have the three of wands. The three of wands can talk about you waiting waiting and waiting we're going to get another card give me another card please give me another card spirit for aries what is aries waiting for thank you the nine of pentacles you're waiting for your happiness and your independence and that is coming there may be a small delay but i don't see much of a delay at all what else, please? Thank you. We have the emperor in reverse. You have to change your mindset. And that's why I feel like these cards are out. Adjustment, adjustments are required. There's, there needs to be balance in your life regarding, you know, um, what's most important to you at this point right um you have to put your priorities in order i feel like perhaps in the recent past with this individual who you know we know the story on that already um with the blinders on and not seeing anything else i think it's time for you to um you know see what's around you take care of other things as well and not focus so much on the one thing right and get get that balance back in your life because there was balance prior to this um, for some reason I'm hearing um, cancer I'm hearing Leo I don't know why um, if those signs resonate with you with this then please you know heed my my words here so let's get some more cards see what's going on and what else we can find out spirit what else for aries please what does aries need to know how can aries balance their life better how can aries balance their life better please how can Aries balance their life better thank you again we have the Emperor in the reverse that's twice now so this tells me that you need to take charge in more situations don't just don't just go with the flow take charge and you know what did my mom used to say if you want something done right you have to do it yourself right so it's kind of like that mindset um don't expect things to do for you don't expect people to make you happy you are the only one who can take charge and make yourself happy right 
Um, and that's a big lesson to learn. And that's a hard, hard lesson to learn. I get it. But it's the truth. Um, you need to take charge and, you know, take care of yourself and your loved ones. And when you're not looking for someone to help you, when you're not looking for that, you're going to have people all over the place. Okay. So the Five of Swords, the Eight of Swords, excuse me, fell out in the reverse. So try not to overthink, right? Try not to overthink every situation because I think I said that before in the reading. You guys overthink your situations. You overthink so much. Try not to overthink any situation. Just go with it. Try to find that balance. We also have the Nine of Coins, the Nine of Pentacles, right? That's twice now. That's twice. Oh, that's the Six of Pentacles. Forgive me. I'm sorry. So we have the Six of Pentacles that talks about balance, right? Equal give and take. Equal give and take. You need to learn that that's normal, right? That's normal. A lot of us get so like caught up in the fact that we we could be in love, right? That we overlook the fact that we're not getting what, what we give, right? It's not balanced. It's not equal. And it's not until after the fact that we actually see that. So make sure you're not overgiving, Aries. Please make sure you're not overgiving. You guys are going to have to make some adjustments for sure. But I have 100% faith in you. We have the hermit. Go within go within. The hermit was underneath the deck. You need to go within, maybe write things down. I don't know, but things will work out for you. What other advice do you have for Aries, please? Thank you. I know this is a long one, guys, but I really wanted to like get that point across to you. Don't overgive. All right, wildflower, live an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. Be authentic to yourself, Aries. Be authentic to yourself. That is so important. You know, take care of you. Everything else will fall into place for you. I promise you that. So Aries, there you go. You know, this is all about you and your growth and your changes. You're you're ready to make those changes. And I see it I see all of that transformation happening. And kudos to you. I love, love, love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Take care, Aries. Bye.